as a fan of these shows, I love all of the drama and all of that kind of stuff, but I also think it's just so beautiful when you all open up about your uh, personal lives. And, and Gertie, I want to go to you and just ask how you're doing and also just thank you for opening up about your journey. Well, I'm cancer-free, officially. Yeah. yeah, so, you know, I'm, I'm about to ring the radiation bell on Wednesday, so that's exciting as well. A, a little itchy down here, but you know, we, we made it work. <laughs> uh, I'm very excited, I'm so blessed, and I, I literally wake up every morning counting my blessings and making it count. Remember that, make it count. Yeah. What's it like to get so, so vulnerable on screen for all of us? I mean, I was just in another panel uh, with Julia, and, the, and then my question is, everyone's like, why did you share? And then I go, why not? Why not? Because, you know, I was told that you know, I was going to be able to be treated and I'll be okay eventually, but it's gonna go, we're going to go through a hard time. And to me, I said to myself, you know, if I can show the good and the bad, then it's only better because a lot of people with cancer, they feel like they have the plague and they, they don't want to share and they feel like something's wrong with them and they go into hiding. And I said to myself, I'm not doing that. I'm not going out like that. I'm going to definitely have, a, have this platform. I signed up for the good and oh my God, look at my career and my husband and all that. Now it's time to really be real on reality TV and show the bad as well. The good, bad, the ugly, all good. Thank you. Thank you. And you're so inspirational to, you know, so many people that go through the same journey. It's so a lot of pressure, It's guys. a lot of inspiration. It's a lot of pressure. And, you know, like, you guys are, like, amazing. You are amazing. Yeah. Your strength, you know, in inspires all of us. And, you know, I'm not a taker like that. Like, I, like, I know, I, I got some tissue. But it's kind of like, I'm not that person to take on that kind of like attention. I like attention for what I do, how I dress, but not so much of like poor Gertie. That's why I ask you guys to empower me, not pity me, and thank you. Well, thank you. You have a new man in your life, Jody. What can you tell us about Jody? that? Where's Jody? Can Jody stand up? <laughs> Where is he? He's around here somewhere. Where is he? Oh, there he oh, is. Maria, there Jody, is. please stand up. <laughs> He's over there. The best thing, like I said it before, the best thing that came out of this is how, you know, being away from Lenny, number one, and obviously Jody. Was, yeah. I, I don't mean to backtrack, but who of the women don't have your back? You said there are a couple. I, I, think, I think at the end of the day, we have a sisterhood and we all, that's what's different from us, I think, than a lot of other franchises. We are really friends. When all is said and done, we, we band together, and like if there's something happening with someone in the group, we're gonna all be there for each other. Um, you know, yeah. But we're, we're together all the time for like three to four months, yeah. and it gets to be a lot. And I know I can be a lot, but we can all be a lot, every single one of us. We can, can be friends and have a difference a of opinion. You know, like I can say right. something that you may not like, but our intentions are always good. And with Lisa, they've always been good intentions. You Lisa, know. do you think you'll get married again? Um, yeah, possibly. I mean, if Jody, I don't know. We'll <laughs> no pressure, well, Jody. Lisa, I said in one of my interviews that I wanted you to get married before you know who, because I don't even want to say his name. So. <gasps> I mean, engaged, married. Sometimes just having, you know, a very long engagement could be nice too. Cause I, I, feel I, you. I like, I like, the, <laughs> I like the word fiance. I like to be like a Get fiance. The ring. I don't really want to be a girlfriend. I feel like mm, right. girlfriend. Yeah. Girlfriend's not enough. Like a Girl fiance is like a step I, up. I would yeah. like a fiance. Just you know. Well, I, nice speaking of, I want a ring again. Speaking Another ring. of significant others, Larsa, um, we do see your relationship with Marcus uh, playing out on the show, and we also see in the super tease perhaps a jewelry box. Are you engaged? Are you? What can you um, tell us? No, we're not engaged yet. I think we'll have to ask him like when we're gonna get engaged. <laughs> we're just in a really good place and I finally met someone that like I really enjoy being with. We have so much in common. He's an amazing guy and I feel like this season you really get to see like my journey and this is like the first time after being married to someone for a very long time, um, me meeting someone that's like my partner and I feel like it's really hard. It's not as simple when you have kids and you know, you're established. I feel like it's so hard to meet someone that you feel like is your equal and a partner. Larsa, your OnlyFans is now a free subscription. This is a hard left from the cancer conversation. Um, First of all, my but, subscription was always free, my friend. It was always free, okay. Yeah. Um, but uh, one of the questions here is that um, it seems like you've stopped posting content. 
What's you know, going on with your OnlyFans? You know, I feel like I'm the kind of person where I try to do everything. I try to be a great mom to my four kids. I'm trying to be a great partner to Marcus. I'm trying to work on all my brands. And like, I'm tired. And, and <laughs> I'm tired. And, so there's times I focus more on like certain businesses more so than I do others. I really have been working hard on my tequila brand. Um, Maluho, I've been working on my jewelry brand, Larsa Marie. And so OnlyFans is kind of, it's on my list still, but it's just not at the top tier of my priorities right now. I feel like there's only so many hours a day. It's like hard to be a woman. Look good, take care of your man, cook, take care of your kids. And like, it's just so many responsibilities. And so do, now only do, Marcos get to see your feet, right? <laughs> Yes, Marcus enjoys my feet. And finally, lucky I, Marcus. I do have to ask. Shout finally, out to, to Marcus, the lucky guy. Shout out to Marcus. I do also just have to ask, what was your reaction to Cardi B calling uh, BS for you on you for saying that you used to have sex with Scotty four times a night? You know, I don't know how can someone else comment on how many times I have sex, you guys. Like, she wasn't in bed with us, so I don't know. And I don't know, I kind of felt like that was comical. And I, it's funny because I called Alexi and I go, Alexi, you don't think I have sex four times a day? And Marlo I don't said, think oh, well, I, I thought I you were having sex. Just, 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 just so you know, like, like, if you were having not. sex with Scotty really four tired. times a day, you still would be every day. That's what I was saying. That's what I whenever I I think, I know, and I'm the sex expert. Whenever I look over at Larsa, she's always texting <laughs> right. with Marcus. She's so like, like the thing is different than sex. <laughs> so, I, I feel like it probably could, it's true based you on know, I, 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 text. I feel like, honestly. Hey, guys, Kiki wants to say something. Let her speak. You see what I'm talking about? I can barely yeah. say a word. I cannot speak. Like, this is bullshit. Kiki, you're a sex expert. Tell us. I really do think it's possible to do have sex four times a night. Or a Kiki, day. you brought four dildos Wait. on a two-day girl Maybe trip. Maybe for a week, hey, so but what? not for years. I have no man. Maybe I want, I want the dildo to take turn. Okay, so what? But listen, I, I do think it's possible to do have sex four times a day. However, for 20 years, that's a lot. Lisa, Lenny's mother, uh, originally expressed solidarity with you when the divorce news broke, and then we've since seen her flip, because, I mean, I guess you don't bite the hand that feeds you. Um, yeah. My question is, you know, do you still have some type of relationship with her? Do, does she see your kids? You know, what's the situation there? There is absolutely no relationship with them at all. She doesn't... I, don't, I certainly don't want one. I don't know if anyone saw the disgusting things that she said about me publicly. Um, hor horrible, horrible things. You, you all saw that. that. We can't come back from it. It's just, there's no coming back from the toxic relationship that we had. Um, she does see my kids and they try to, so hard to have me not, they don't want me to be a part of these kids' lives, but I'm, I'm their mother, I'm always gonna be there. She would love to be the mother and remove me from the situation, but obviously that's never gonna happen. It's a very toxic, toxic. Well, the What's apple doesn't fall too far from the tree, does it? There it yeah. is. That is true. What's your hope for your relationship with Lenny? I mean, in, in looking forward five, 10 years, what's your hope? I used to think that we could maybe get past this and be one day maybe be friends and be able to co-parent um, amicably, but it, he is making it so, so difficult. It is one of the hardest challenges I'm facing in my life right now. Everything is a fight. Everything is a call to a lawyer. Nothing is easy. Um, I'm still going through it, unfortunately. And um, actually, um, because of all of this, all of these horrible things that have happened in my life, my, uh, Jody and I, we are launching a platform to help other women, other people get through get through these really hard times and try to save costs on their divorce, get through their divorce faster, and just help other people. So if you want to sign up, splitwall.com, you can go do that now. But it's, it's, it's almost like a calling. It's like something that I feel like I'm meant to do on this earth, to help other people. So That's, that's yeah. amazing.